We are going to animate text today. Let this have kind of a typewriter effect to it. So in After Effects, I'm in my project, and I chose the Type tool up here, and simply create a text box. Set your character. I used Courier because it looks like a typewriter font, and set the color to black. And we'll get rid of this extra layer. We don't need that. I was just showing you how to add it. And so we have a text box sitting here. I'm going to control click on the background and bring up composition settings just to show you that I used our basic square 1080 by 1080. And I set my um, timeline duration to 20 seconds. And this is where you can change your background as well. So I wanted black type on a white background, so I set this to white. So this is a fairly simple process. So with my layer selected here, um, on the text layer, I'm going to go over to the animate and click on this button. And we're going to add an opacity to it. And what that does is kind of two things. It gives me um, a layer in the timeline to control the opacity but it also adds this range selector. So I'm going to open this up, and the start and offset is um, this range selector refers to the range of all of the characters in my text box, and it applies to the text box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my timeline indicator, set it back to zero, and I'm not going to use opacity yet. And well, I'll show you why in a little bit. This is so we can see what we're doing. So in uh, the very first frame, I'm going to click Start. And you'll see that it adds these start indicators here, this little red line with the um, triangle arrow, and an end indicator. So this basically is controlled by the percent. Right now, because it's at the very beginning, it's at zero. If I move this throughout my text, you'll see that this increases here. We're at 41% now. It will increase from zero all the way to 100 at the very end. So we'll set the first frame to zero because we want it to start here. And then we'll move our timeline indicator all the way to the end to 20 seconds. And we're going to set this at 100%. We could grab this and pull it through here. I'm used to adjusting things in the, the timeline. So I'm just going to increase this. You can see it move it through the text. So we'll set this to 100%. So right now, as I go through my timeline, you can see that it will, character by character, jump through from all the way back to zero. Now, all we have to do is go back to the opacity that we added earlier, and in the first frame, set that to zero, and it will take all the opacity off of that. So then all I need to do is scrub through, and you will see that it draws the type, or types the type in, all the way through to 100. We'll play that and see what that looks like. So you can see as it brings each new letter in, it goes through about three or four letter or levels of opacity, and it has a smoother transition. If you don't like that, you can change the smoothness in advanced right here. Just open this tab, and in smoothness, you can set this to zero. It's normally at 100 by default. And now when I play that, it will look more like a hard typewriter. And that is basically how you animate type. Thank you.